Greetings, good people. Nice to meet you. My name is Roderick. See you in time. Hey, folks. How you doing? Uh-oh. I was going to make another little puppet show here. Do some more tests. But it sounds like that the people who live upstairs, they're coming home now, which means i got to run and hide. Actually, it just means that there's going to be a lot of walking upstairs. And from your point of view, it'll just sound like thunder or footsteps. Because they're going to be walking around upstairs. But what can you do? This is the world we live in. Sometimes you got to live in the basement. Sometimes you got to live in a big house. Sometimes you got to live in places where you don't want to live. But you're forced to because of your life situation. But all in all, it's great to be alive, even if the place around you stinks. Oh well. The best we can do is to make the most of it, try to be as happy as we can, and do what we can to make things better for ourselves and for the people around us. Okay, thanks. I guess that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to go because it is time for me to head around off. Hope you're having a good day. We'll talk to you later. And don't forget to clean up your place a little bit. You guys know who I'm talking about. You people. You're not exactly slobs. And you're not clean freaks either. But every once in a while, once a month or so, you clean your place. And it's a darn good cleaning too. But most of the time, after the cleaning, it slowly builds. And you don't notice. Because that's the way it's always been. And it's no big deal. But if you're a clean freak, then don't, uh, don't not be a clean freak. And if you're a slob and you're happy with it, it would be better if you cleaned up for your own health's sake. Because if you're unhealthy, then you can't go on living like a slob. Because you'll be dead. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thanks. And then I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. That was really, really nice. It's me, Roderick. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.